I was a little slow out there. We had one white and one uh, Wahoo, and we had a white break off. Uh, but beautiful weather, great tournament. And, uh Hug it, John. Down, Hug it. Right? Just a freaking in the rigging here. Off the teeth. 143 pounds. Yeah. Fish. 174 pounds. Uh, went good. Went to uh, the big eye hole. Caught a couple big eyes. I said the big eye hole. I didn't get specific. Right outside the hot dog. Yeah, it was a good day. Caught two big eyes. Saw a blue marlin. And uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Into his liar. Take care. <laughs> It was a nice day, beautiful day in Washington. We were until uh, he came up. It took us about a half an hour to get him in, I believe. So with a lot of help of the boat, teamwork, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
There we go. Day four here in the 22nd annual Mid Atlantic 500,000 is in the books. We got one day left, folks. Not too many changes on the leaderboard today. As a matter of fact, we've only got one. A 243 pound big eye comes into Cape May, New Jersey on the Canyon Runner, bumps the MJs and the Plain Simple down into second and third place. I was fortunate enough to fish on the no quarter today. We had a 174 pound big eye that was up there in third place for just a couple of minutes. But then, like I say, the Canyon Runner comes in there and bumps the mud buddy down. That 243 is going to be tough to beat. Everything else stays the same 77 in the Wahoo 38 on the Dolphin 203 213 243 in the big eye category 437 and 441 in the blue Marlin 71 73 and that 84 pounder on the lights out holding its ground in first place it's a really good fish and I don't know if it's gonna get beat but anything can happen in the MA 500 and it usually happens on Friday we got one day left you want to see all the updates buy t-shirts and the like see the live feed it's ma500.com Friday is it. I'm going to cash a big check tomorrow.